This is a Eurasian eagle owl, one of over 200 species of owls and one of the largest around the world. It is found throughout Europe and Asia. You know, one of the biggest misconceptions about owls is that they're very wise or intelligent. The reality is they're not. And I'll tell you why. One of the first things you notice about an owl are those huge eyes. Those eyes are very large, much larger than what you can actually see. They're so large, they take up a lot of room in the skull. And because they take up so much room in the skull, they leave very little room for the brain. So the brain of an owl is relatively small compared to other birds. So the fact is they're not very intelligent. However, their eyesight is incredible. If you had the eyesight of an owl and you were able to read, you'd be able to read a newspaper 100 yards away. One of the other things that distinguishes owls from other birds is that flat face. That face is flat for a reason. It serves kind of like as a parabola to bring in sound. Their hearing is incredible. Unlike you and I that have what we call parallel ears, one ear here, one ear here, owls, many of them have one ear up here and another ear down here, and it helps them triangulate sound. Whereas you look at this guy, you see these feathers on the top here? People think that those are the ears. Those are really not the ears. They're strictly decorative. They have incredible hearing where they can actually catch a mouse running on the ground without being able to see it at all. Now, people will think that it's the beak that is the most dangerous part of this bird. Actually, it's not. It's those talons. The talons are what they use to catch their prey. It's what they use to defend themselves. Very, very powerful, which is why I've got to wear this glove. Another neat thing about owls is that they can turn their head almost all the way around. Not quite 360 degrees, but close to 270 degrees. There's a reason for that. Those big eyes that you see in the head of the owl, he cannot move them up or to the sides, like you and I can move our eyes within the sockets. Those eyes are fixed. So the owl has to be able to point his head directly at what he's looking at. And that's why nature gives him the ability to turn his head almost all the way around. Another wonderful thing you'll notice about this owl is this coloring. The coloring is a wonderful camouflage for the deciduous uh, and conifer forests in which it lives in throughout Europe and Asia. This is a cliff nester, lives in, uh, nests in cliffs and in different types of crevices. Owls have many adaptations for living their nocturnal lifestyle. Their eyes, they can see with very little light, very silent sound created by those special feathers on their wings, and incredible hearing to hear in almost pitch black. Hey, I'm Ron McGill here in my office at Zoo Miami. I hope you're enjoying Zoo Academy. And listen, if you've got any questions regarding any of the things you see on any of the segments, please email them to education at zoomiami.org. And hopefully I can get to some of them in future segments and give you some good answers. We'll see you around.